with Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to Local 3 News. As you can see, temperatures are on the chillier side right now. We got 28 Sawyer International. We got 31 for downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard and also 31 for Munising. As we dial up our Local 3 radar network here, you can see we do have some snow showers back to the west here, back towards the Apostle Islands and out over western Lake Superior. Some of this snow is going to try to head this way into the western UP as we go into tonight. That's why some UP spots could see some wintry precipitation, but tonight it is not going to add up to much. I got to take you up to the north here across northern Manitoba. Got an upper level Hudson Bay low here on the western side of Hudson Bay. What's going on here is we got pieces of energy coming down. Here's the first piece of energy coming into western upper Michigan here currently, and then tomorrow night we're going to have another piece of energy coming in, and that's going to perhaps bring some parts of the UP some accumulating snowfall. Let's look at temperature once again, you can see temperatures are turning chillier out west. We're down to 27 for Ironwood, and you can see 30 for Barrack on Lance. Officially at the Weather Service today, we had a high temperature of 37 and a low temperature of 10. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, 34 and 26 were today's high and low temperatures. So three things to know for tonight. We'll have some wintry precipitation, including snow showers tonight into Tuesday. This is not going to add up to much, but as we head into Tomorrow night, Tuesday night, on into Wednesday, that's when we could see some accumulating snow. Behind that next piece of energy, that stronger piece of energy, we're going to see chilly weather on Wednesday. Some UP spots may not get out of the 20s, and then we're going to have a stronger storm system, this time coming at us from the western United States, and that's either going to bring us some rain or some wintry precipitation, perhaps some heavier wet snow as we go into Thursday night, Friday, on into Friday night, and the track of that storm system, depending on that track, either how far north it is or how far south it is, is going to determine whether we see rain or wintry precipitation or perhaps some heavy wet snow. So future weather, there's your snow showers coming on through, perhaps some other types of wintry precipitation mixing on in as we go into tomorrow. And then as we head into tomorrow night, here's our next piece of energy coming from the north and west. That's going to bring some heavier snow, let's call it, not feet of snow like the head out east this weekend, but we'll have some more moderate snowfall tomorrow night on into Wednesday, and some of these snow showers are going to continue on into Wednesday afternoon. Otherwise, Wednesday we'll get some sunshine in, but temperatures are not going far on Wednesday for highs. Wednesday night on into Thursday, clear skies, perhaps some lighter winds that could lead to a very cold night in some inland areas. Thursday we start off with sunshine. Later in the day, clouds pick up the pace, and the first round of precipitation from that western storm system that will affect us late in the week moves on in. For snowfall the rest of the night, as you can see, the numbers really not adding up to much, but watch tomorrow night on into Wednesday. You can notice the numbers adding up here a little bit here from Gwynn to Marquette over towards Munising and then westward into the Keweenaw Peninsula and also the western UP. As we look at our forecast for tonight, we're looking at low temperatures across the UP that will be around 20 or the 20s. Some interior spots could fall back into the teens. Marquette's seven day forecast here 32 Tuesday, 27. That's it Wednesday and then back into the 30s. We go for Thursday and Friday for Escanaba and Gladstone. We'll have 39 Tuesday, 31 on Wednesday, 40 on Thursday, and also 40 on Friday. For Iron Mountain, 39 Tuesday, 30 Wednesday, 40 for Thursday, 41 Friday, and then 36 for Saturday, and then Houghton and Hancock, 29 Tuesday with some snow showers, a chilly day on Wednesday with some snow showers, 25, 36 on Thursday, and then we're just going to have to wait and see how the end of the week pans on out, whether it's rain or wintry precipitation, including some heavier wet snow. So stay tuned to the latest weather forecast as we get towards Thursday night and Friday.